it, it's something you really hope can happen. You know, you, I've been involved in uh, a lot of companies uh, in the technology space since the early '80s, and you know, you it's you know you can get to be you know really innovative company, but sometimes you just can't get the money out of Sandhill, and you know you you know you, you sort of try to get there, and and it takes a long time, or you got to convince customers that their budgets over to do it, and you know we we were fortunate enough to have some amazing customers that came on that sort of saw the same vision. And so, you know, knowing that this project's nine years in the making and to finally be in the position to say that is uh, is great. I mean, I, I can say it's only happened a couple times in my career. Yeah, I mean, I would put ourselves more into, into uh, maybe the Microsoft camp, which is part of the reason it's taken nine years is because, you know, they have a platform, right? You, you can you can use a product like Microsoft Teams. I mean, it's a closed stack of related collaboration tools. And so when I think about, you know, those other types of companies, they're very focused on, you know, authentication of signature, obviously, and, and, and files being stored for people, whether it's Dropbox or Box or, or whatever. But I think of ourselves as, as a wonderful opportunity to sort of help people do everything that they want to do in one pane of glass. Uh, actually, it didn't. I, I did a speech. Uh, I think it's on YouTube. It's called the Zero Hour Work Week, and I did it in uh, October of 2019. And what I was saying was that if the average person had a 25 minute commute, which is about a third of mine was, um, and and they did that, you know, five days a week, you know, 20 20 days a month, um, it would be equivalent of three weeks of the year that they're in their car. Uh, and then, you know, if you're if you're going into the metropolitan areas, which we you know, a lot of people were migrating around, you know, Dallas and San Francisco, you know, Silicon Valley, New York, and everything else, you're going in, you're paying for parking, you're paying for lunch. Um, you know, you're going in there because it, it's the thought process is, is that that's the traditional way. You need to see people. You need, you know, we all kind of miss that now. Um, but the model, if you're not there, then you maybe you're going to lose your job. Like, why is it, why aren't you here? I look at your desk and you're not here. And now we've sort of seen sort of this like refresh. And this is what I was talking about in 2019, that there should be technologies that allow us to be just as productive anywhere in the world. It can be on a beach and it could be, it isn't tied to a nine to five. It's tied to timing of getting things accomplished. And so I was a big fan of that. And, uh, and so I was building the technology around that concept. And it just so happened that uh, that sort of intersected with the fact that the pandemic forced people to go find platforms like ours. I, you know, I, I was looking for something that was, um, you know, I'm certainly good at pivots and I'm certainly good at looking at the market from a, you know, a different way, having done this a long time and been on a lot of boards. And what I saw in the Bluescape uh, platform was they really built everything around security. Like their, their anchor tenants were the Department of Defense. And so I saw the platform and I saw the security and I started thinking like, if we're really gonna build remote platforms, we can't have people hacking or Zoom bombing or whatever. Uh, and if, if it's critical information, you know, it's your, your secret product you're coming out with or your earnings release, um, you certainly need, you can't have those things happening over a VPN. So, you know, from my perspective, uh, I looked at the job, one, because I really like the space. I like the idea of communication. Uh, I certainly like what Zoom was doing and the fact that they were making you know, the simplicity of, of doing conferencing. But I was thinking about that there's so much more to it in terms of content, uh, video production. And we do almost every movie studio today on the West Coast. Man they manage and, and, and produce their products, uh, whether it's animation or live inside Bluescape. Well, why? Because they're all working remote and they don't want these clips to get out into the wild. And so as I mentioned, we ended up, we were in the DOD. I started seeing this as a really important uh, function for studios. I saw it as really great for manufacturing, but I didn't like uh, sort of its usability and in the fact that it was really kind of around offices. So I, I, I knew I had a Rolodex of people that I could come recruit. They could take the basis of the technology and make it a widespread uh, platform. And I knew it was going to take two or three years. And, you know, that's equivalent of a startup for me. And it was funded, you know, so there was a there was a large, you know, more than $100 million access for me to go get the people, build the product, design it and everything else. That's a rare opportunity. So I was certainly fortunate.
What I think what Google Docs did was really impressive uh, when they only came up with about 10% of the functionality of Microsoft Office. But what they did do was that they figured that 90% of the people did 10% of what they were doing and that all the other features weren't really being used. And so that was back in uh, 2012 or so. Uh, and now what you're hearing a big buzz about is sort of this Goldman Sachs uh, analyst area around a no code, low code. And, and you know, to simplify that, it's basically giving people the ability or, um, or software the ability to be shareable, even if it, what you didn't have to go back and rebuild your product that way. And so by using Bluescape with our technology and looking at this you know, $70 billion industry that's gonna grow overnight over the next 36 months, it's this idea of one pane of glass with all of your technology in there. So you think of like a stockbroker in New York who's got the 14 different screens going, yields, interest rates, you know, all this other stuff. What if you could just wipe all those out and have it all be in one screen and you could share it to an infinite amount of other people to make decision making and whatnot. So what's really exciting is one, we already have all the shared documents. We have video sync, which nobody else has. I can start a video on Bluescape, everyone can see at the same time. So we, we built all the tools, we built all the security, and now we're gonna be able to take it, all the applications to our marketplace and have you upload, whether you're running your Salesforce or your Excel or whatever, and it's all in there for other people to manipulate at the same time, even like web sharing. Like I could be going through a web page on it and, and everybody could stay together. So, you know, these are all things that have been in the works for us uh, since 2017. You know, we've, uh, we, you know we, we really grew the heck out of our engineering team and we brought in world-class people. And, and that's where we sit today. We're, we're up for a really big year this year. I think, you know, Fast Company recognizing us for 2020 uh, is fantastic. I mean, it's such an incredible honor. And uh, I look forward to 2021 as, as being our blowout year.